Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to set up Docker Engine Enterprise Server on Windows Server 2019 in Azure. So first of all, come to this image on the Azure Marketplace and from here, click on Get It Now. Do not worry, the link is given in the description and the benefit of using this image is you will get everything that you might need for your docker in your windows server by default as deinstalled so just click on this button that says get it now click on continue now from here click on create button now we'll create a new virtual machine for our docker this is the subscription choose your subscription and then here we have resource group select the resource group as per your liking and need I'll go with Cloud Infrastructure Services. Then here we need to give our virtual machine a name. So I'll write here Docker. Then this is the region, availability options and availability zone. Go with your options as per your liking. Then make sure that you have the right image selected when you are creating your virtual machine. After that, here we have the size of the resources that we are going to use. I'm satisfied with this one. Down here, we have to write a username and we have to keep a password. So I'll write a username and then I'll set up a password. After that, I'll confirm my password and then we are good to go. Now, we just need to click on review and create. Will take a little bit of time and we are good to go then. And here it is running a final validation. Now let's click on create as we are done with the validation. Now it will start the process to deploy our virtual machine. As you can say, it is initializing the deployment. We are done here with the deployment. Now just click on go to resource button. It will take you to your virtual machine. So now we are ready to connect to our remote desktop. There are two ways. First one is click on this public IP address and look for remote desktop connection. Just click on it and paste the IP address that you have just copied. Click on connect and then it will ask you about your username and then password. So if you remember, Docker was our username and now I will enter my password, hit enter. If there are no problems, it will prompt you with this message. Do not worry, click on yes. And now it will start our Windows Server 2019 on its own. So here we have our Windows Server up and running. Now I'll open my command prompt as an administrator. And first of all, we'll check here if our Docker is running or not. So I'll write here docker space run space hello dash world colon nano server this command will check if our docker is running or not and here it says unable to find image hello world nano server locally now it is pulling it from the libraries it will download some of the files so we'll wait for the process to get complete and then we'll move ahead and here you can see here it says hello from docker it means our docker is up and running and now we are ready to move ahead and perform other activities and now we need to configure our docker for linux containers for that purpose we have to use some commands so either you can follow me from the video or you can check out the link in the description that link will take you to this page that says how to set up docker engine container on windows server azure aws gcp if you scroll down you will see all the steps that are given and every guide that you might need in order to set up your docker engine so we are done with the first step and now we need to configure our docker and for that purpose first of all we need to install hyper-v so what i'll do here i'll just copy this command or i can click on this button that says copy and now let's paste the command that we have copied after that hit enter and now in order to install the linux container on windows server we need to follow this or you can say we need to copy this command so i'll just copy this and i'll paste it in here hit enter we are done here with this one now i'll go back again to my article and this time i'll copy this command i'll paste this command and here you should press y for the all option so i'll just enter y and hit enter and here it has started the process it will take a little bit of time so we'll wait for it and we are done here and now this is the second command just hit enter and let the process get complete we are done here with this one as well and now let's go back now we need to copy this command in order to enable linux kit system 
to run Linux container and then we'll restart our Docker. So I'll just copy this command. I'll paste it in here. And now we have to restart our Docker. So just hit enter now. So we have successfully restarted our Docker service. And now we are left with this command. So I'll just copy this and I'll paste it in here. Hit enter. And now just remember the last few lines after this command. And if you see here, both are same. It means we are working pretty fine and everything is okay. And now it's time to configure our Docker Enterprise to run the Windows container. So again, we just need to copy this command and we'll do everything just like we did earlier. And I'll paste it in here. First of all, let's clear our screen and let's paste it in here and hit enter. We are done with this one. Let's go back and let's copy the next one. Let's paste it, hit enter again. We are done with this one as well. Let's go back again and let's copy the next command. And again, it will restart our Docker service. I'll paste it in here and I will hit enter to restart it. And now let's copy this command in order to see if we get hello world as an answer or not. Let's paste this, hit enter. And here you can see here it says hello from Docker. It means it is working pretty fine. We are done with everything till this point. And now what we need to do? We need to run our Docker and we need to create some containers. Here we have three different links. First one is for base images. Then we have container base image. And then at the end, we have remote management of Windows Docker host. I'll open all of these links and I'll show you that how you can do that. Well, here it says container base images. These two are most common Windows Server Core and Nano Server. I'll show you one of them that how you can do that. So let's go to Windows Server Core and let's see how we can do that. So let's open it. From here, we have two options. Either we can go for 2019 and we can go for 2022. As we are working on 2019, I'll just copy this one and I'll go back to my Windows Server 2019. And here I'll just paste this command and now hit enter. Here it is downloading everything. It will take very few seconds as you can see. We are done here and we have been successful to install the Windows Server Core. You can follow these documentations and they are in very detail and every step have been mentioned in here as these are from the Microsoft itself. So you do not need to worry about anything. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Don't forget to check out the link for the step-by-step -step guide on how to set up Docker engine containers on Windows Server in Azure. And also don't forget to check out the other link for the image on the marketplace of Azure for your Docker engine. And if you have anything to ask, please leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care.